Cane intensified so quickly that it caught many Floridians off guard. Its wind speed increased by 72% in less than 33 hours. Lonnie Quinn, chief weathercaster of our New York station WCBS TV, is here. Lonnie, why so fast? It's as if I'm using this analogy. It's like this storm had eyes. I put together some graphics to explain everything. Because you look at Monday. Monday it was south of Cuba. It was a tropical storm. You look at two days later. It's coming on shore as a Category Four, almost a Category Five. I'll tell you. For all, listen. It was it was basically a Category Five with the damage with the damage it put together. Look at the graphic I put together for you. All right. It had to. Take the perfect track in order for this to happen. If it veers a little bit too much to the east, it's going to encounter land. Hurricanes hate encountering land. If it tracks a little bit more to the west, it's going to encounter that dry air. They hate dry air. Either one would, would ruin that storm. And if you notice, it went right through the perfect track. So the first thing it had to do, it had to perfectly thread the needle of the Yucatan Channel. It cannot encounter the Cuban mountains. It also cannot encounter the Yucatan Peninsula. Well, it shoots it perfectly. Then the next step, it has to avoid that dry air. So I've got that highlighted here and that sort of, uh, looks like, they almost look like clouds off to the west. That's dry air. If that gets infused into the storm, it's not the beast that it's going to become. Well, it doesn't touch that dry air. The next thing is it has to take a track that puts it right over the warmest water that the Gulf of Mexico offers. It's running about four degrees above average, and it does just that. And it also cannot encounter the peninsula of Florida. It doesn't want to rub up against the West Coast, right? And now it makes its landfall uh, around Mexico City, around Mexico Beach. And if you look at this, we tell the, the strength of the storm by the eye wall. Look at how perfectly formed that is. It looks like a dime as it's coming on shore. All uh, I know is, Lonnie, it was a Category 1, and then it seems like we blew right through Category 2 and 3, and then we started talking about Category 4. Right? You, you betcha. I mean, well, look, we did go through those things. It just happened yeah, within so a, such a short period of time. Yeah. And the thing is, as of late, we've been watching all these storms stall, yeah. meander, right? Wow. This one never stalled at any point in time. From the time that I've been with you guys reporting on this as a, I, I first came on board, I guess it was a, a tropical storm. Yeah. It has never moved any slower than 10 to 13 miles per hour in terms of its forward progress. So it covered a lot of real estate quickly. Yeah, people get used to having five days to prepare and anticipate for yeah. a storm, right? Yeah. This one, 48 hours, it's yep. already here. Two days, the best that, that, that folks had. All right, Lonnie Quinn, thanks a lot.